How is proteinuria during pregnancy treated? Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss a critical health topic that may arise during pregnancy, proteinuria. This term refers to an excess of protein in the urine, which may indicate an underlying health issue. It's particularly important to understand this condition during pregnancy, as it can pose risks to both the mother and the unborn baby. Let's get into more detail about what proteinuria is, how it's diagnosed, and most importantly, how it's managed and treated during pregnancy. What is proteinuria? Proteinuria is a condition characterized by the presence of an abnormal amount of protein in the urine. It's typically a sign of kidney disease. However, in the context of pregnancy, it could also be a sign of preeclampsia, a potentially severe pregnancy complication characterized by high blood pressure and signs of damage to another organ system, often the liver and kidneys. How is proteinuria diagnosed? Proteinuria is diagnosed through a urine test. If you are pregnant, routine urine tests are part of your prenatal care. If protein is detected in your urine, your healthcare provider will likely order further tests to assess the severity of the proteinuria and determine the underlying cause. How is proteinuria treated during pregnancy? The treatment of proteinuria during pregnancy depends on the severity of the proteinuria and the underlying cause. 1. Mild proteinuria. For mild proteinuria without any other symptoms, often no specific treatment is needed. Your healthcare provider will likely recommend frequent monitoring to ensure the condition doesn't worsen. This may include regular urine tests and blood pressure checks. 2. Proteinuria due to preeclampsia. If the proteinuria is caused by preeclampsia, the treatment primarily focuses on managing the mother's high blood pressure and preventing complications. This may include blood pressure medications to manage high blood pressure, steroids to help mature the baby's lungs if delivery becomes necessary before 34 weeks of gestation, hospitalization and bed rest. In severe cases, hospitalization may be needed for close monitoring of both mother and baby. If the mother's and baby's lives are at risk, the delivery may be necessary, even if it is before 37 weeks of gestation. In such cases, your healthcare provider may induce labor or perform a cesarean section. Remember, early detection and management of proteinuria during pregnancy are crucial. Regular prenatal care allows healthcare providers to detect proteinuria in its early stages and initiate appropriate treatment. If you have any concerns about proteinuria during your pregnancy, please don't hesitate to discuss them with your healthcare provider. Until next time, take care of yourselves and your little ones.